Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the sea creatures. So before starting this video, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The term deep sea creature refers to organisms that live below the photic zone of the ocean. These creatures must survive in extremely harsh conditions, such as hundreds of bars of pressure, small amounts of oxygen, very little food, no sunlight, and constant, extreme cold. Most creatures have to depend on food floating down from above. These creatures live in very demanding environments, such as the abyssal or hadal zones, which, being thousands of meters below the surface, are almost completely devoid of light. The water is between 3 and 10 degrees Celsius and has low oxygen levels. Due to the depth, the pressure is between 20 and 1,000 bars. Creatures that live or even thousands of meters deep in the ocean have adapted to the high pressure, lack of light, and other factors. Life in the shadowy depths from frightful fangtooth fish and vampire squid, to coffin fish and spiky, sinister sea urchins, plenty of strange and scary creatures lurk in the dark, cold depths of the ocean. Be brave and dive on in. Alien-like anglerfish. With its needle-like teeth and a pole-type structure protruding from its head, this fish looks more like an alien creature than something found here on Earth. This female specimen is actually a new species of anglerfish that was discovered in the deep waters beneath the Gulf of Mexico. The fish, Lasiognathus dinama, has a curved appendage that sticks out of the organ at the tip of its fishing rod, which contains light-producing bacteria. Anglerfish nab meals by using this structure to trick fish that are attracted to the light. Spaghetti monster. This odd critter is proof that things can get weird in the deep sea. Very weird. This noodle-like beast, Bathyphysa conifer, was seen off the coast of Angola in 2015 by workers at the oil and gas company BP. The workers were collecting video footage at a depth of about 4,000 feet, 1,220 meters, underwater when they spotted what they said reminded him of, deity of the church of the flying spaghetti monster. B. Conifer is a siphonophore, a group of marine animals that includes corals and jellyfish. Ghostfish. This ghost-like creature was spotted by scientists in July 2016 during a mission aboard the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA, Okeanos Explorer research ship. It marked the first time that this ghost fish, part of the family of Phionidae, was seen alive and swimming. The fish was seen swimming along a ridge, at a depth of 8,202 feet, 2,500 meters, at the Mariana Trench National Monument. This protected area covers 95,216 square miles, 246,608 square kilometers, east of the Philippines. The ghost fish has translucent, scale-less skin and strange-looking, colorless eyes. Vampire squid. Despite its terrifying name, the vampire squid is relatively tiny, reaching a maximum of 6 inches centimeters, in length. It gets its name from its red coloring, glowing, bioluminescent eyes and the cloak-like webbing that connects its eight arms. Although it has similarities with both squid and octopuses, it is actually not a squid but in its own separate family, of which it is the last remaining member as such, the animal is referred to as a living fossil, its scientific name, Vampyrotuthes infernalis, literally translates to vampire squid from hell. Yikes. Eerie anglerfish. The terrifyingly toothy anglerfish became a common occurrence in little kids' nightmares, since it chased Nemo and Dory in Pixar's Finding Nemo. To attract prey, the scary-looking fish uses a bioluminescent fishing pole that hangs just above and in front of its toothy face. The lure is actually a piece of dorsal spine packed with millions of glow-in-the-dark bacteria. Giant crustaceans. This huge crustacean was one of seven supergiant amphipods discovered by scientists in 2011, while they were exploring one of the deepest trenches on Earth, the Kamadic Trench off the northeast coast of New Zealand. These pale, leggy creatures are more than 20 times larger than their typical crustacean relatives. The supergiant amphipods, Alicella gigantea, were found 4 miles 6 kilometers, down in the Kamadic Trench, according to the researchers. Monstrous Megamoth Shark The Megamoth Shark, shown here, is an extremely rare species of deepwater shark. The Megamoth swims with its mouth wide open, catching and sucking in fish and krill as it glides along. Its massive mouth extends past its eyes, and is equipped with about 50 rows of small, sharp teeth on each jaw. The Black Dragon Fish Another bottom-dwelling bioluminescent creature, the black dragonfish has light-emitting organs, arranged all along its belly to fool predators by changing its silhouette. 
The spooky fish also has bioluminescent flashlights next to each eye that it can flash on while on the lookout for prey or to signal potential mates. As you can see in the above photo, the black dragonfish is so toothy that even its tongue has razor-sharp teeth. Skeletal jellyfish. The deep sea equoria, or crystal jellyfish, has a translucent body and long tentacles that give it a ghostly appearance. A jellyfish's tentacles, which trail after its body, can be less than an inch to 120 feet, 30.48 meters, long. Creepy crawly giant isopod. The deep sea marine creature isn't for those with a phobia of bugs. The giant isopod is a crustacean that lives at the bottom of the ocean and is related to shrimp, crabs, and the roly poly pill bugs that dwell in your garden. But unlike their insect cousins, giant isopods can grow to be more than 16 inches, 40.6 centimeters, long. Creatures from the bottom of the ocean that will give you nightmares. The frilled shark is a living fossil, a species that has retained some of the features of its primitive ancestors. With its grisly appearance, the frilled shark is an example of a living fossil, extant animal whose appearance has not evolved much through the millennia. The term can also apply to creatures that have few or no close surviving relatives. What's most unusual about this prehistoric-looking predator, which is endemic to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is the way it reproduces. In other mammal species, embryos are nourished via a placenta. However, frilled shark embryos obtain energy from yolk sacs and mothers only give birth, once their offspring are capable of surviving on their own. Growing up to 7 feet long, frilled sharks primarily prey on squid. They've also been known to feed on fish and even other sharks. Hagfish are notorious for their repulsive feeding habits lacking jaws, they consume the decaying carcasses of other sea creatures by burrowing into them with tooth-like structures, there are estimated to be 76 species of hagfish, and some live as deep as 5,500 feet below the water's surface, also known as slime eels, because of the goop their bodies produce to ward off predators. Scientists estimate that there are 76 species of hagfish, which can grow to be between 16 and 40 inches long. Some live as deep as 5,600 feet below the water's surface. As the name suggests, the faceless cusk eel has no face. Like dementors of the fish world, these eels don't have a face. Last year, Australian researchers found a faceless cusk, an incredible 13,000 feet below the water's surface. Expedition leader Dr. Tim O'Hara of Australia's museums Victoria told The Guardian, it looks like two rear ends on a fish, really. Apparently its mouth sits underneath the rest of its body, and is protrusible, meaning it extends to catch food, and then disappears back inside of its own body. The Atlantic wolfish is a predatory species, characterized by a mouthful of sharp, canine-like teeth. The Atlantic wolfish lives up to its lupine moniker. A predatory species that feeds on hard-bodied or spiny invertebrates like sea urchins, and large marine snails, this creature is not aggressive towards humans unless provoked. You'll find the Atlantic wolfish, which can grow up to 5 feet long, in the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. Preferring chillier water, it lives at depths ranging from 328 feet to 1,640 feet. With its lengthy, eel-like body, this fish is also known as a wolf eel. The goblin shark has 50 teeth in its mouth, you can identify goblin sharks, a rare, bottom-dwelling species by the shape of their snouts, which are elongated and flattened. With 50 teeth in their mouths, these gruesome creatures command attention. Interestingly, female goblin sharks are larger in adulthood than the males of the species. Females can be a maximum of 11 inches long, while males grow to be an average length of 8.66 inches. The vampire squid's scientific name, Vampyrotuthes infernalis, means vampire squid from hell. In Latin, the name of this cephalopod, which is neither a squid nor an octopus is even more sinister. But the vampire squid, found in the inky depths of the mesopelagic zone, about 3,300 feet below the ocean's surface, is gentler than its appellation indicates. Unlike its namesake, it doesn't feed on blood. Instead, this creature subsists on marine snow, decaying organic material, that falls to the ocean floor, kind of like the dead leaves that litter forests. The blobfish was named the world's ugliest animal in an online poll named the world's ugliest animal in an online poll conducted by a British organization called the Ugly Animal Preservation Society, the blobfish belongs to the Fathead Sculpin family, a group of fish that dwells in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans at depths ranging from 330 to 9,200 feet. While most fish stay buoyant with the aid of a swim bladder, blobfish, whose bodies are less dense than water, 
utilize the ocean itself as a floating mechanism. The most famous blobfish, Mr. Blobby, was discovered in 2003 off the coast of New Zealand, and has inspired everything from plush toys to emoji. Preserved in ethyl alcohol, Mr. Blobby's final resting place is at the Australian Museum in Sydney. The Japanese spider crab can weigh up to 44 pounds. Native to the Pacific Ocean, the Japanese spider crab lives at depths of 160 to 2,000 feet. Growing up to 15 inches wide and weighing up to 44 pounds, it is one of the largest known arthropods, a group of invertebrate animals that also includes lobsters, spiders, and insects. The hyphen lizardfish grows to a maximum size of two and a half feet. This toothy fella is found at depths of more than 3,200 feet, and has been spotted in Africa between Morocco and Gabon and in Europe between Northern Ireland and the Mediterranean Sea. What do you think of our list of some sea creatures? What did you find out most interesting and most shocking? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.